Democrat Treva Hodges made waves four years ago when she beat four-term incumbent Bob Hall. Now, Republican Ruthie Jackson, who worked for Hall, is hoping to make Hodges a one-term mayor. We have a record of proven progress here in the city right now, and there's just absolutely no reason to, to switch gears. Treva Hodges listed some accomplishments since she took over the office of the mayor. Building a brand new wastewater plant at no extra cost to our consumers is a huge win. Um, we've also done a lot of parks improvements, so we've added uh, a fully accessible playground. We're adding a teen depot hangout. We've got plans for a civic center on the newly donated 70 acres of land at Shadow Lake. She also points to new businesses on or around Town Square, as well as the new Forest Edge Apartments. I made it my mission to make sure that when people hear the name Charlestown, they think, oh, that's the place to be. That's that they have good things going on in Charlestown to turn that image around. Ruthie Jackson was elected to city council four years ago and has served as council president for three years. There's more great things I want us to do. Growth is coming and being on the council, I can see where things can be done better. And I just felt like it was my time to step up and serve in this capacity. Jackson disagrees with Hodges' preference to build the Civic Center at the new park at the edge of town. We need it in the middle of town where every child has access to it. The two share many similar goals for City Hall, but have slightly different approaches. We just need things for our youth to do. The prior mayor had a plan of building a sports complex. That would help our youth, that would help our um, economy, that's going to bring restaurants and things like that. We need a swimming pool. You know, we need things for our kids to do here. In Charlestown, Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.